Okay. So we're gonna get started with our warm up. So we're gonna start off with that forward fold, coming down into a squat. So just kind of find that nice pace, sinking into that stretch, and your legs are ready. I'm still levitated, I'm heavily medicated. Ironic, I gave him love and they end up hating on me. She told me she loved me and she's been waiting, been fighting hard for your love and I'm running. All right. Well, after this, we're going to come on up into standing for soldier kick. Getting those arms involved. See if you can keep your legs straight. And then if you need to touch like at your knee or whatever, that's fine. Squeeze the belly in as you lift your leg. Making everything a core move. All right, our next move is going to be side lunges. Here we go. Really shoot the booty out behind you. Stretch into that inner thigh. Nice open chest. All right. Our next move is our inchworm. Coming over to the edge of the mat, we're gonna walk out to plank. And then tighten the hips to come back in. Good. Try to get all the way out to that plank. All right, next time you come into plank, hold there. You're gonna draw one foot towards your hand, open up, and then other side. Really open that chest, feel the rotation through the spine. All right, one more on each side. And then we have completed the warm up. So we're going to come up for our intervals. Getting ready for the butt kick. Here we go. So try to get those feet all the way up. Or if you're choosing the, the other variation, Squat, butt kick, butt kick. Squat, butt kick. And if you're doing these, really try to get down into that squat and then try to kick the booty. Really getting those hamstrings involved. Okay? All right, otherwise, pick which one you like the best. Three, two, one. Recover. All right, we're gonna come down to the mat for Animalia. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, tuck the toes. Rise up into a hover. And then little steps. Out, out, in, in. Good. All right, now when you're doing this, draw the belly in and lift it up. Squeezing into that core and try to keep those hands right under the shoulders, spreading your fingertips out wide, and then open your shoulder blades in the back and let your rib cage lift towards the ceiling. Nice, strong shoulders. And again, if you need to just hold for a beat or you can rest your knees down for a moment, just try to hop back in. Three, two, one, recover. Okay, coming up for Super Mario. You're either hopping or pulling the knee in. Either way, we're gonna pick one side and stick with it. Starting with our lunge. Lunge back and either drawing that knee straight up or you can add that little hop at the top. So I find it really 
important to really make sure you're getting all the parts of this move. So that back lunge and all the way up into the top. Try to keep your eyeballs in one place for stability. And we've got about 10 seconds left. Good, three, two, one, recover. Good, remember which side you just did so you can do the other side next time. All right, hip circle squats. So you can take it here or you can go all the way into it. So hip circle, drop, hip circle, drop, or you can just make that circle and then drop into your squat. So depending on which variation feels more stable for you. Just try to get as much mobility in that hip as you can. Use your breath. Good. Drop down into that squat. Shooting those sits bones out behind you. We have three seconds. And recover. Good. Okay. Twist through burpee. So coming to the edge of the mat. And take this at your pace. We're jumping, come into plank, twist through, and back. You can also walk out to your plank. You can tap the foot, whatever modification you need. Try to be real precise. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, recover. All right, coming to hands and knees for our final move. Pick a side to start on. Hands below the shoulders, knee below the hip and little pulses. All right, now once you get moving, pull your belly wide and lift it up. Then try to square your hips. Make sure your knee is not like out to the side, straight up and down. Reach the top of your head across the room. Nice long neck there. Good, slow breath. Nice, we've got eight, seven seconds. Three, two, one, recover. Wonderful, round two. Coming up for butt kicks or squat kick kick. All right, here we go. So, whatever variation you're choosing, try to get that posture and alignment. Pick a pace where you're feeling challenged, but confident. And really try to get that range of motion in the knees there where you can get your heel toward your glute. Eight seconds. Three, two, one. Recover. Good. Coming down to the mat for Animalia. Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Tuck the toes, hover. Here we go. Out, out, in, in. Get your technique lined up. Nice big breath. 
Let that heart rate come down while you're strengthening. Good. Little steps. You can choose a pace that feels good. Just keep those shins parallel to the mat if you can. 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Recover. Take a good breath. We're going to come up for Super Mario second side. I can't remember now. I think I got it. Back lunge and Super Mario. Or just really draw that knee up with intention. Scooping through that low belly as you lift the leg up. <laughs> I am so working on my lunging. Always tipping. We've got eight seconds. Finish strong. Three, two, one. Good. Okay. Hip circle squats. Second side. All right, we've got one second. Here we go. Hip circle squat. Nice. Try to control it. Nice and big. Ah! Holding down. Good. You use your breath to determine your pace. Nice flow here. Use your arms however you need. Six seconds. And recover. Great. Uh, twist through Murphy. So this one's nice because you can really take your time in it. Find that technique. All right, here we go. Jump. Plank. Open up. And back. Real precise, intentional. Good, you guys. 13 seconds. And three, two, one. Recover. Stay down on the mat for the final move of this round. But pulse other side. Hands below the shoulders, leg up, square the hips, and little pulses. So check, make sure that ankle and knee are lined up. Good, pull the belly in, lift it up. Try to keep your hips still. Just allow the leg to move in the pelvis. Breathe. Good. Try to get your weight right in between your hands. We have six seconds. Three. Two, one, recover. Halfway there. Coming on up, we're gonna get our butt kick or squat butt kick combo. And here we go. Check to see 
Your head's nice and lined up with your shoulders. Rib cages over the hips. Nice. Breathe. Find that pace. Get that heart rate up. Super close, five seconds. And recover. And Amalia. Hands and knees. Hands below the shoulders. Knees below the hips. Cover the knees. Here we go. Now, something to imagine that your spine is not moving at all. The only thing that's moving are your legs. Good. Try to squeeze in on your center body to help you find that stability. Let your rib cage float up to the ceiling. Nice, strong upper body. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Recover. Good. Super Mario. First side. Breathe. Getting set up. Back lunge first. Here we go. Down and up. Try to sink back into that 90-90 lunge if you can. Nice. This one is definitely like big. Any way you do it. So just try to dial in on that technique and make it nice and quality, good quality. Seven seconds. Two, one. Recover. Wonderful. Hip circle squat. Your side. Getting set up. And here we go. Big circle. Big squat. Find the whole range of motion in that hip. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the high loop. Throw that to the side. Lower down with control. I get those goosebumps every time. Yeah, when you're not around, when you throw that to the side. When I'm pulling up right beside you, pop it up on the ride. When I text the game wireless, throw a stack on the Bible. Never Snapchat or took Molly. She fall through play. Eight seconds. We at the top low right there. Three, two, one, recover. Okay. Twist through burpee. Getting ready. And here we go. Good. Find that variation where you feel challenged. But controlled. Building up that strength. Every part counts. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the high loop. Throw that to the side. Ten seconds. I get those goosebumps every time. Yeah, when you're not around, when you throw that to the side. Three, two, one. Recover. Sing on the mat. Breathe. Final move of this round. Butt pulse. First side. Hands and knees. Get set up. Here we go. Try to make sure that thigh, like your quads are pointing down toward the mat. 
nice straight line in the leg. Pull the belly in and up. Square the hips. Reach the top of the head long. Yeah. Nice slow breath. 10 more seconds. <laughs> Good. And three, two, one, recover. Ooh, I can feel the hamstring on that one. Okay, you guys, final round. Coming up for our booty kick. If you want to make this your challenge round, that's fine. Whatever that means for you. Here we go. First of all, I think speeding anything up gives it a little bit more challenge. So that's pretty easy to do. I mean, <laughs> you can even do it just for the last 10 seconds if you like that. Or if completing your 45 seconds is your challenge, then that's great too. Good. All right, seven seconds. Three, two, one. Recover. Okay. Coming into Animalia. Hands and knees. Tuck the toes. Breathe. All right, lift up. Here we go. Little step. Really dial in on that technique. I think for me, I prefer amazing technique over speed any day. So that could be your challenge. Find the best technique you can. Ten more seconds. Push through. Stay strong. Three, two, one. Recover. Okay, Super Mario, second side. Good. Starting off with the back lunge. Here we go. Down and up. Try to get that little mushroom or <laughs> literally, I don't know, because like, I don't play Super Mario. Pretty sure I've seen it though. <sighs> Try to keep balance. That's my challenge. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Recover. Okay. Hip circle squats. Second side. All right. Here we go. Big circle. Nice. Use that breath. Find the flow. Don't pull up at six AM to cuddle with me. You know how I like it when you love ten more seconds. I don't wanna die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wish and on me. And three, two, one, recover. Cool. Twist through burpee. Come to the edge of the mat. And get ready. Here we go. Final round. Make it good. Last time doing it. Only 45 seconds. Still. 
lot of bad things that they wish and 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 on me. Bad things. It's a lot of bad things that they wish and they wish and they wish. Reaching into it. Eight seconds. She said, Do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. Two, one, recover. Stand down for the final move of this workout. Other than our core burnout. Butt lift. Second side. Here we go. And up. Square the hips. God's plan. Hands go between, uh, sorry, weight between the hands, strong core, squeeze, keep those hips steady, feel the hammies, point that toe if you can, nice long neck, almost there, 10 seconds. Push through, final move. <laughs> Good. Three, two, one. Recover. Nice work. Okay. We have four moves. 30 seconds each in our core burnout. Our first move is our tabletop crunch on your back. Knees right over the hips, hands behind the head, and just up and down. Our second move is scissors. Switch, switch, switch. Then we're going to move into crisscross. Opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Stay elevated through the center. Finishing with toe taps. Dropping the leg shape toward the mat and up. Really don't just bend your knees, but move from the hip, okay? All right, so get set up on your back. Legs and tabletop for the first move. I will get our timer set. And starting off with our tabletop crunch. Here we go. Up and down. So really try to imagine that your lower body is just not moving. Maybe don't even imagine it. Just don't move it. Exhale to lift. And really avoid pulling on the neck. Use your belly to lift you up. Drawing the lower ribs towards the hip bone. Good. Next move is scissors. Here we go. Switching the long straight legs. Try to keep your shoulder blades elevated off the mat. If you need a modification here, you can just grab behind the knee. Uh, the thigh, rather. So that's fine. All right, our next move is crisscross. Here we go. Opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Feeling that twist through the center body. Trying to elevate, lifting up. You can also point your legs up to the ceiling if you prefer that. Good. Our final move in the core burnout is our toe tap. So go ahead and come to tabletop. Drop a leg shape down and up. Try to keep that low back really connected to the mat. No arching away in the lower back. Lots of low belly here. And also imagine the belly button drawing towards the mat below you. If you can keep elevated in your head, neck, and shoulders, you can also do this with your head down, no problem. Three, two, one. Nice, recover. Stretch your legs out long. Reach your hands over your head. Big inhale through the nose. Blow through the mouth. Nice work. Okay, let's do one knee into the chest. Give it a little hug. Come in. We'll let that leg tip to the side, twisting, looking over your opposite shoulder. 
Breathe. Good. All right, come onto your back and take that ankle, cross it over your opposite knee and get a nice figure four stretch here. Good, okay, let's get the other side. So hug the knee in first. And then let it cross over, looking over your opposite shoulder. Breathe. Nice work. Good, okay, come to your back for figure four on this side. The more you can kind of press that knee out to the side, the more you're gonna feel that in your side butt. Okay. Go ahead and straighten the legs, let's roll up. And then we'll just find a nice forward fold. Reaching into it. All right, good, okay, I think that'll do.